common problem that you will experience with your atomic over time is the gradual loss of steam pressure. And um, this is our day-to-day -day machine. It's used at least once or twice a day and I haven't done anything to it for the last few years. And what I've noticed is that it's becoming increasingly difficult to get really hot, smooth milk. And the reason is that it's got a tiny little steam leak here which isn't getting any better and you sometimes you can't even see those steam leaks but what I'm going to do today is just very quickly um, swap the seals in there. I'm not going to bother swapping all the seals because there's no leaks here and here and as I've mentioned before taking this fitting out you're liable to actually shear it off in the machine and then um, we're not going to go to that um, expense or trouble. So to get this out all you need to do is undo this here. You can just do that with a pair of pliers but if you want to use pliers just wrap a towel or something around so you don't damage the metal. Um, once you've unscrewed that, this here will screw all the way out and allow you to see what's going on inside. Okay, so let's have a little look inside this machine because I think what somebody's done in the past by the looks of it is this white stuff here looks like plumber's PV tape. So it's obviously had a leak in the past. And what someone's tried to do is put some plumbing tape or something in there to fix it. But what you need to do is get yourself along to Bond Trading and buy a seal. These uh, seals from Bond Trading in Sydney, Australia, cost $16 or about £8.45. So if you know anyone who's going over to Australia and you've got an atomic, get them to bring you some back. Um, and these seals have all the seals. The big black seal is the one that goes here, and all these seals are the ones that go in here. Now, we're only going to be using some of the small silicon seals and the little brass seal for this purposes. And would you believe that these are actually genuine atomic parts? And the only place in the world that you can actually get these is Bond Trading, Oxford Street in Sydney. Um, so we're just going to open that up and just put the new seals in. There's a beautiful little hand-drawn diagram showing exactly how to do that. Now, to get those seals on, you're going to have to take this Bakelite knob off. And if you've got a genuine atomic, that'll be held on by a screw like that. If you've got a fake atomic, it'll tend to be a Phillips screw. So I've already loosened that screw. Once you've loosened the screw, that should just come straight off. And then that lifts over allowing you to take off these seals here. Make sure you look at the instructions when you put them back on, make sure you get them in the right order. What you may find when you take your atomic to pieces is that what's in there is something different to what you're about to put in there. For example, on this particular atomic, the first thing is a brass seal and then you've got three rubber seals. Now these you can see just by squeezing them are just disintegrating. So that's why the thing is leaking. And then at the end, you've got another brass seal for some strange reason. So what comes in this kit is just one brass washer and then three silicon washers. So brass washer goes on first and then three silicon washers thereafter. Put everything back together. Make sure you clean that out um, because you want the seals, the brass seal, etc. to be sitting on a perfectly flat surface. So if there's any broken bits of seal in there or gunk or grime, you may actually end up with another leak. So just give that a little wipe out and clean out before you put the whole thing back together. And the three silicon seals, push them down to the end. Now you may find that those seals, when you come to screw this in, you may find that you have to actually push those seals down with a little um, screwdriver just to get them to seat in there. So I've screwed the shaft in as far as it goes but you can see the seals are still showing at the top. Pushed that seal down you'll find it's an awful lot easier to get the final seal on rather than trying to push three seals down at the same time with the screwdriver. So do it nice and carefully so you don't damage the seal. That is essentially all you need to do, this bit will just screw back over like so and then you just need to put the um, this bit back on and that's job done. Incidentally, these seal kits do also come with a top seal and this seal which we've just replaced both of those on this machine, not that it was leaking from there but the seal kit does come with that. That top seal to replace it you do not need to take off that face plate. The seal just actually hooks out with a small watchmaker screwdriver. If you're lucky 
and those two screws come out nice and easily. You can take the faceplate off to clean the back of it, but you don't need to take that faceplate off to actually replace that top seal. It's a good idea to replace the seal on here because that's another common source of leaks. Once again, don't ever be tempted to start adjusting this screw or that nut. That's a seam pressure screw and you should never have to adjust that.